You have control of two things, only two things, period. Your actions and your reactions. Now, many will take that as feeling very victimized, especially depending on how controlling they are, that they woke up to the enlightenment, they woke up to universal law principles, they woke up to creating a reality, blah, blah, blah. And then it's just a whole other level of, I mean, it's all beautiful, but unfortunately, if you still have a controlling nature within your egoic state of consciousness, you know, I am going to create an X, Y, Z, and it's going to be this way, that way, that way, that way, nothing less. And then something's going to show up. Maybe it's three quarters that way. Maybe it's two thirds. Maybe it's four fifths. But then there's always that little blemish that the ego is going to try to bite into and run with. And then we're going to go back into self-doubt and then attempting to recreate it, which is kind of missing the whole boat around not trying to control the four elements and all the other elements to be in a certain fashion of what you're perceiving, projecting, and commanding that has to be so. And that's all wonderful. If you were on this planet all alone, if you were in this universe all alone, I could see where you would actually be able to do that. But because a good amount of your creating comes with the hands of brother humanity, it comes with your esoteric and then cosmic lattice works on and on and on. It's kind of like when, when someone says, you know, when's the love of my heart going to come into my life? Well, I'm, it's a simple answer when you're ready. But even if you are ready in that moment, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. It's not like you could snap your fingers and they show up right there. Because you got to remember, you're also dealing with the hands of brother humanity, the evolvement, the expansiveness, the radiance that okay, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, that's going to happen, this is going to happen. It's going to go this way. It's going to go that way. It's going to blah, 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 blah. In that moment, it's totally black and white, clear as anything. But it's something that goes well beyond your control of trying to micromanage through the ego. Now, the issue comes up when you have another thought. The dear ones in the exponential world has another thought. that can create wavering. They may be right on me. I want the blood in my heart on and on. Bring it on, let's go. But then they have the thought that they have to pay their repentance before they can be happy. They have the contemplations that, am I worthy, not worthy? You know, all these complicated mental, egoic, and emotional gymnastics that they run through here, run through there, on and on and on. Then, unfortunately, but the reality of it, is that they are where they are within their journey, on their journey, through their journey. And they're going to go up, they're going to go down. They may get stuck. They may start running around in circles like a puppy dog chasing a tail. They may whatever, whatever. Now, yeah, is that really about you? Not so much. It's about them and the unfoldment that is playing out around them. So that's why we step back into the relevance of the now where we can take a breath where we can open up clear out amplify and then we get to a point or let's just say we integrate amplify and evolve into a point that says all right you know hey i'm game bring it on let's go but i'm not going to sit here become tunnel vision and wait around. So I'm going to get back to whatever I'm doing in my day-to-day live stream. I'm going to get back to emanating, permeating, expanding, radiating, and amplifying, and then allowing the rest of the whole universe to come in, to come through, when and as necessary, when and as beneficial, that we can all just take a breath with, decompress with, open up with, open up through. To where from here, we're moving forth, we're running forth, we're amplifying forth with more and more ease and grace. Now, the tricky part here is not becoming totally identified with one black and white 
certain outcome of how it should be, must be, got to be, because you're playing with others. You're playing with the whole universe. You're playing with each and every other journey. You're playing with all these facets of creator incarnate, which they, oddly enough, have their own issues, their own constructs, their own conflicts. There's no reason it can't happen right on schedule. It's just a matter of now they're going to have another thought. They're either going to rise above it, not buy into it, or they're going to buy into it and get a little bit stagnated. But at the same time, you got to remember everything we're playing with, everything we're opening up to right here within and through the relevance of the now, it's one simple answer. You're waking up, you're rising into, and you're accelerating within and through love. Then letting everything else take care of itself. 